According to Made in Canada, there are 3.5 million entrepreneurs in this country. And while some sources report a decline in the rate of new entrepreneurs in Canada, our generation, millennials and Gen Z, are leading the charge with a new trend, the micro entrepreneur. The fancy way of saying you have a side hustle to combat the rising cost of living. So we obviously wanted to talk about it. Today, we're here to discuss the new trend in entrepreneurship, what impact small to medium businesses have on our economy, if Canada is a great place to be an entrepreneur, and what the major pitfalls are for those starting a business or side hustle. Today, I'm joined by Josh, Ruth, and Anthony. Guys, welcome to the show. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so let me ask you a hot take question here. Is a influencer with affiliate marketing links in their Instagram bio an entrepreneur? Yes. Yeah. Why not? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Well, who's I their, thought I was going to get more who's, who's their, on that. Who's their boss? But is that just self-employed? What's the difference between self-employed and entrepreneur? You tell me. Josh, what do you think? I've always looked at entrepreneurship as someone who has a little bit more innovation, right? Like, yes, self-employed, you can kind of follow a script and you can get the job done and you can be completely by yourself. But when I look at entrepreneurship, I look at it as, okay, this person's pushing the boundaries. They're doing something a little bit different, right? Otherwise, it's like they're they're literally saying, okay, this person did A, B, and C. If I do A, B, and C, if they got D, I'll get D as well. One thing, too, that I found, just to answer your question a little bit more, is self-employed people make money when they do all the work versus an entrepreneur makes money in ways where they don't have to necessarily do all the work. Like they build something bigger than themselves versus self-employed, it's revenue on their own. What do you think, Anthony? Uh, well, I, I'll go back to the influencer, and, I, and I'm not an influencer by any means. I don't have a million <laughs> real, no. I, like, I, I would say that, like for example, real estate. Ryan Saran's an influencer in real estate. He sells a product, it's, and his product is real estate. Is he an entrepreneur because he I, owns a brokerage? Uh, yeah, I would absolutely say that. he's selling a service. He's sell, that's his product. His product is real estate services, and he sells it, and he makes a lot of money doing so it. So you would consider yourself an entrepreneur I as a realtor? I absolutely would. Not I, so, just self-employed? Not a chance. Huh. Not okay. Interesting. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> let me ask you guys this. What do you think the type of person is in Canada that's an entrepreneur? Give someone, me the demographic, the age. Uh, someone the age. who's otherwise unemployable. <laughs> 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 you mean cannot listen to anybody else but themselves? Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, that's never yeah. so I have an interesting stat. 41% of new entrepreneurs have at least a bachelor's degree. So do we think that that number is going to decrease? Like, are more and more entrepreneurs going to require education less and less? No. You no. don't think so? No, I don't, no, I don't think so. I, 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 think, I think the natural progression of education is to go to post-secondary. I think the, the numbers just keep growing and growing and growing. I didn't go, so I might not be in that statistic. I'm very proud of that. But um, I don't think that that's going to go anywhere. Okay, here's another stat. One in, four, uh, one in four companies are started by immigrants to Canada. Does that shock you? No. It doesn't surprise me. No, because I think that people come to Canada to create opportunities. And, and immigrants have so, what I found with immigrants is they have so much drive and motivation. Well, it's and often incredible. people who immigrate here are very intelligent and maybe their so, prof professional designations are not recognized in Canada or they have to leap through a lot of hurdles to have them mm. recognized. So they take their skills and apply it to a new business. Okay. So, what are they, Josh, you were going to say something? Well, I was just going to say, like, the opportunities that are there for them, like you were saying, the professional designations aren't recognized here. So, what is available for them? Kind of standard, just mediocre starting jobs. So, for them, they say, okay, look, I can do that for now, but I'm also going to have this side hustle that I'm going to turn into my main thing. Right. Because that's where they'll actually okay. make decent enough money to live off. Here's another one that might not surprise you guys. 50% of our total workforce now in Canada is millennials and Gen Zers. What changes do you think we're going to see as that number continues to rise? A lot more uh, chat GPT. A yeah. lot more chat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dumb <laughs> conversation. <laughs> more, more sick days. <laughs> what do you think, honestly? I think just the whole landscape of the workforce is going to change. We're going to see more people who want to work from home or work hybrid. That's or a huge thing. Or work for themselves. I think, uh, I think that that they're seeing that there is a model to make money by working for themselves. And, and I think millennials and Gen Zs are opportunistic. I think that's a good thing to be opportunistic and they'll take advantage of it if they can. Do you think people fully understand the responsibilities around being an entrepreneur? Hell no. 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 Not a chance. Absolutely not. Okay. No way. No. So we'll get into a little bit more as the episode continues <laughs> what to expect. But when we come back, let's take a look at what role entrepreneurs play in a strong Canadian economy. Let's talk about it. 